Hello friends, Athena here, and today I'll be reviewing the Divina Cosmetics Exploders Collection. You may have seen these as part of a haul a while back, so I thought I'd review them for you today. This is a bundle of seven eyeshadows. It retails for $56 on Davina's website. However, each shade can be purchased individually for $8 a piece. The shade names are inspired by Willy Wonka, and the shades included in this bundle are Nerds, Runts, Everlasting Gobstoppers, Swudge, Pixie Sticks, Marshmallow Pillows, and Kazookles. These shadows come in a standard 26 millimeter pan. Davina's website states that there is about 1.5 grams of product per pan. This would break down to approximately $5.3 per gram of product. I have gotten the chance to use each of these shades on my eyes, and at the very end I'm going to include a couple demos just so you can see how they look as toppers versus on their own. I thought I would break these out for spring because pastel glitters give me spring vibes and the hope for warmer weather. After reviewing the Kaima Cosmetics Dream Blend Glitter Pigments, I honestly thought I would be a little bit more disappointed in these and that they weren't going to give the same sort of impact and mostly be inner corner highlights for me. But I'm happy to say I was really surprised by how dimensional these look on the eyes and I really love to use them as toppers over matte eyeshadows. I do wish they were just a teeny bit more strongly pigmented on their own, but what was I expecting from pastels? These are the really beautiful Divina Cosmetics quality, however with the Aurora Flare collection when you picked it up on a brush it was smooth and when you applied it to the eye it was also smooth. These however have a little bit of the chunky texture when you pick them up on a brush that the Kaima Cosmetics Dream Blood Glitter Pigments did. With these, once you apply them to the eye, they really smooth out. The sort of base pigmentation to them isn't really noticeable. What makes the greatest impact on the eye is the duochrome reflect within each of the shades. Davina's website suggests using a glitter glue with these. I would as well. Unless you set down a layer of setting powder before applying these, you are more than likely going to get a little bit of glitter fallout onto your face. I don't really mind, it makes me feel magical, but if it bothers you, I would recommend setting down a layer of powder. I like applying these with my finger or with a dense flat shader. I wouldn't pick these up if you're after the pigmentation of the base shade. These really are more of a pastel glitter topper. The base shade isn't going to be wholly visible when you get it on the eye. It's mostly the reflect that's going to show once it's on your eyelid. In terms of shade selection, I would really love to see a yellow, a orange, and maybe a grassy green added to this collection in this formula. I think that the two pinks and the two purples in this collection are tonally different enough. However, I was really surprised by how similar the blues look in the pan. But once again, it's the reflect within that sets each of these apart. Nerds has a little bit of a gold shimmer running throughout. Everlasting Gobstopper has more of a green reflect. And Swudge has a bluish purple sparkle throughout. You'll see me apply all three in a demonstration towards the end. However, for right now, I'll pop up a picture just to show you how different they look on the eye. Now we're going to take a look at some swatches. I'm going to finger swatch on bare skin. However, the brush swatches will be done on glitter glue because I feel like these really do need a tacky base. I will also show you how these look on a black base.
Now that you've seen some swatches, let's talk about ingredients. I'm going to scoot on over. Afterwards, we're going to finish up with some online demonstrations. These are a vegan formula with relatively simple ingredients. Mica is the base, which is super common and really great for layering colorants and pearl effect pigments on top of. Next, we have titanium dioxide as a bulking agent. This is also considered a colorant and helps a formula's opacity. The tin dioxide and silicone dioxide we see in the formula are considered viscosity controlling ingredients. Another viscosity controlling ingredient in the formula is zinc stearate. This is also considered a colorant. There aren't very many colorants in this formula, which makes sense to me because these are pastels. The colorants listed are iron oxides, red 40, and blue 1. The calcium carbonate can also be considered a bulking agent. However, in some formulas, this is used to maintain pH. The kaolin clay is a great oil absorber. This is often used in eyeshadow formulas to help adherence to the eye and make them last longer. And the last three ingredients are the soothing and emollient ingredients in the formula. These help an eyeshadow formula stay together. And these are allantoin, caranuba wax, and caprylic triglyceride. Caranuba wax is often used to replace beeswax in vegan formulas. That was pretty much it for the ingredient analysis. We're gonna wrap up with some on-eye demonstrations. Hello friends, today I thought I'd demonstrate how these look as glitter toppers. So I have on a completely matte eye look and I'm gonna be applying the shades Nerds, Everlasting Gobstoppers, and Swudge onto my eyelids. I'm gonna start by applying a glitter glue and then I'm gonna apply each shade using a synthetic flat shader and using my color switch to clean the brush off in between shades. Here we have the side with all three applied and this is the blank side so you can have a reference. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Hello friends! Today I wanted to show you how these look on their own. So I have all my matte crease work already set up and my eye primer applied. Today I'll be showing you the shades Pixie Sticks and Kazoo Goals. I'm going to be applying a glitter glue and then using a flat shader to apply the eyeshadows, cleaning my brush off on a color switch between shades. So here's one eye with the shades applied and then one eye blank for reference. And I'm just gonna be applying the same two shades to the other side. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next.